This is Google Classroom. It's available in the cloud. So if you log into TCAPS, uh, cloud.tcaps.net, then it looks like this here. It looks like a chalkboard. It's called Google Classroom. This was just released this year. And when I open up my, my class, uh, I'm the teacher, obviously, and here are my assignments. What students will do is they will come here to get their handout, so to speak. In this case, it was a KWL on William Shakespeare. On the kid version, you'll see that it has their name attached. Let me actually show you one that's been submitted so you can see exactly what it looks like. So here's Grant, and there's Grant's document. I open it up. It's got about William Shakespeare, the title of my assignment. Google Classroom automatically adds his name onto the end of it. Then um, it contains what his, his KW, and we haven't gotten the L yet because we haven't finished, but I can see his work that he has simply entered in here and submitted via Google Classroom. So instead of handing out a piece of paper and collecting it, it's here virtually. And as a very simple kind of a response document, we don't need to do, use paper for this. I don't think. Um, this is great for collecting essays too um, because it allows for peer and peer editing and for my uh, analysis for them. So let me go back to here they had completed an essay and then they added it a, a secondary way. Um, but let me go to Grant again because I know I've got comments on here. Um, so here's his essay that he submitted via uh, electronic submission. And then um, here are my comments. And it'll when you click on a comment, you will see that it highlights the passage that it's talking about. When I click on, on this big comment down here, it highlights this part. And I'm telling him to remember to use the transition leading quote format for using quotations in your writing. If I'm a student and I want to see what did Mr. Noller say to me about the placebo effect, there's a misspelling there. Did you check red, your red underlines? This one needs to be addressed. And you'll notice the arrow here, and you'll know that it pulls that comment up. Even if it's hidden below, it pulls it up so that it's level. Same thing here. Um, I'll click on this uh, passage that has the comment because it's highlighted in that, in that color, and it pulls up the comment that goes with that. Um, so Google Docs is a great tool for editing, for evaluation, for formative assessment, for showing growth, all of those things that um, we're being asked to do often.